morning, everybody. We got one baby there. We got one baby here. In the corner there. <laughs> and we've got a geek there in the front hall under on the chair, you know. Uh, a little earlier, she'd been in the bed in that room. So, um, yesterday was a good day, you know. Uh, Paul was a little lower than usual. And I had a good day, and I exchanged emails with my friend out of province, who had also had a good day. It's kind of rare that we both have a good day the same day. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, today has been okay, but, you know, just the pull is stronger again. <sighs> you know, it, just, it just keeps coming back, you know? But anyway, it's okay. I mean, you know, I had a, had a good night with the kids, a good morning with the kids, you know, battle the dragon. It's kind of normal, <laughs> When it doesn't happen, then that's like an unusual. But I, I battled the dragon, spent time with the kids, and you know, and uh, exchanged uh, texts with with my local cat rescuer friend. Uh, I got a very nice text from her uh, yeah, about today being the uh, you know the two year anniversary of my picking up the kids or bringing them home for the first time. And then the next uh, the part two of this is going to be when I uh, celebrate the actual adoption of them in 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 um, July. So anyway, I uh, you know. I uh, I was busy battling the uh, the dragon, so I missed uh, you know brunch. It's already like two thirty, so by the time I go out, I'm not gonna miss I'm gonna miss brunch. But I'm going to make a journal entry, and then you know a bit about the pushes and pulls at the very least, and uh, and then uh, maybe just go out for a walk. Hello, everybody. It's uh, Monday, kind of two o'clock or so. <laughs> you know, the morning for me. But uh, this is lunch. I've um, uh, I had a good uh, the morning at home with the kids. Yesterday, the pulls were still very strong. I mean, you know, I made it, but you know, it was very strong. I, I didn't even risk going out to eat. It was just like I just locked myself in the condo with the kids and, and battled the dragon. But we made it, you know, so today it's slightly less. So I decided I might as well celebrate by coming out for lunch. And um, the, my usual Thai restaurant on the Queensway is closed on Mondays, and I was just there last week. So I've come to this one, Blue West Village, and I came to it a couple of times uh, during the pandemic. They had a tiny little patio on the sidewalk, but now they're open inside as well. So um, yeah, I came here, bought the Corvette. <laughs> Put up uh, now, but you know it looks like it's gonna rain. You know, so anyway, it doesn't matter. I, you know, I can wash it again before I take it back. So um, uh, I came here to just have a little celebration of you know made it, <laughs> made it through a very tough weekend. You know, the seven week, the seven week mark, I guess is you know. The, the, I'm hoping by the time we get to eight, it'll start. The polls will start uh, diminishing. At least I'm hoping. Food here is good. You know, it had the garlic shrimp and. Uh, they brought the dry pepper hot sauce, which is good. Of course, I used all of it. And the hot and sour soup. And uh, there's uh, egg, but otherwise vegetarian. So it's good food, you know. It's as good as the other place, a uh, different kind. A little spicier, you know. And you get shrimps here. There I have the uh, fish cakes. Anyway, we'll finish eating. Maybe stop at the no frills. And then head back to the kids. Bye for now. Hello everybody, I'm in the event just about to turn into a driveway there, you know, and you get a nice view of the uh, skyline from here. Uh, and um, after uh, my uh, my Thai lunch, I went to the no fills there and got a bunch of, you know, snacks, biscuits and things, you know. <laughs> so I'm just about to get back to the kids. So, um, um, I'm going to try to do a little writing, at least journal entries, and then, um, you know, uh, very likely, or I heard from my contractor, very likely I'll be making my trip on Wednesday or on Friday. Now, my entry card, they're doing a really fancy thing now where the, um, so I gotta stick it up like this, you know? Uh, okay, oh, now no, he's opened both, you know, he did it. Thank you. Okay, I'm now home, let the babies out of their room, and so we got one baby there, we got Agitha there. And we got the other baby wandering about here. <laughs> so, from the one tall, three in four of us. Bye for now. I'm just going to do some journal entry and, you know, I don't know if I can actually do so. It's already five o'clock. So I'll save the attempt to do non-journal uh, entry writing for tomorrow, I think. We'll see. So anyway, uh, and very likely... I'll be going to the house on Friday. 
other than Wednesday, because that way I can also meet my contractor, as long as the grass doesn't get too big. And then I'll also arrange for the Porsche to be towards that day. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. Uh, anyway, uh, I guess seven weeks and three days, or four days. So the last four days, three days were particularly tough. Good morning, everybody. Um, we got up a little while ago. Uh, both the babies were on my uh, one were on this bed with me during the night, and then one was on the bed with me in the morning. Got up, gave them treats in the kitchen, and I got back into bed. And Agita has come, and is kneading on her on her pillow bed thing. And one of the babies has climbed up on the bed, and she's she's hissing, but kind of kneading at the same time. <laughs> uh, but now I think she's just, you know, she's going to get down. Just everybody can sweethearts. Okay, fine. <laughs> and then the other one is, I think, in the living room. Uh, anyway, uh, polls were again pretty strong last night, but it's okay. I'm, you know, I'm just going to write it out. And uh, and uh, the, this morning I was like, I had, I did experience the daily sober focus point and just enjoying being sober and all the stuff and, and this levels of uh, family together this time <laughs> and guess what the other baby is under the bed so all four of us were on or under the bed for a minute or two so uh, and this also explains why i either went to the perch rather than go here under the bed because the spot was already taken by her brother so we've got one baby there one baby there Agita there, and my plans for today are just to stay in with the kids and try to do some writing, if I can. Non-journal writing, if I can. If it doesn't increase the cravings. But so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, and so far, I mean, you know, it's early, it's early yet, it's still about, you know, 8.30 or 9 in the morning. But so far, I mean, with all of this family time and everything, uh, pull has been a little bit less than it was yesterday. Anyway, from the four of us, uh, all in. Hello, everybody. It's now a couple of hours later, and I uh, gave the uh, kids wet food. And now everybody is very comfortable. <laughs> These two here, and that one there, and I've been on the sofa, and the pulls have been very strong again. Just very, very, very strong. <sighs> but it's okay, you know. I just got a very encouraging guy, uh, you know, um, a text from from a friend, and uh, I got a very nice email from another friend out of province uh, last night. And uh, my friend from uh, my local cat rescue friend was going, you know, dragons are very strong, but you know, kitties are stronger. <laughs> Roar like a kitty, and I'm like, mm, you know, like, <laughs> okay, it's <laughs> true. I, th I, th I do think that you look at my kids, they're stronger than dragons, no question, you know. But anyway, so I gotta, I gotta channel my inner, uh, my inner roaring kitty. So, but it, it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to wear the dragon out. It's just a little exhausting, but it, it can be done, you know. So I'm just wearing it. I'm wearing myself out too. But anyway, um, uh, so far so good. I mean, you know, we're we're into the. Uh, Seventh week, so it's seven weeks and uh, four days, seven and a half weeks, really, seven and a half weeks. Uh, the last few days have just been, you know, I might have to go get some uh, weed gummies for tonight. I keep saying it, but so far I haven't really, I keep saying, oh, by evening I'll be okay and I'll, you know, I'll read and I'll, I'll uh, you know, I'll watch some Netflix. And I did, I watched a, a pretty good uh, film on uh, Netflix last night, a war movie, um, Operation Mincemeat. Which is actually, it's not actually not, not all that bad. So, but still, the pool has been there just, you know. So, and I had a very good night with the kids, you know, and maybe sleeping in the bed. And then in the morning, everybody came and everybody moves around and everybody sleeps. And, you know, so this, these are my biggest pushes. There's not the slightest doubt about that. Um, and uh, the encouragement from friends also helps a lot. It, uh, all the, uh, you know, and how bad that last binge was, and, you know, how dangerous it was, and, you know, all of that stuff, uh, you know. So um, I'm doing it. I will keep doing it. I'm, I'm, I I think I'm going to try to write today. Uh, I mean, I'm the, the cravings are max, pretty much maximum anyway, so I might as well write out some of the stuff that I don't include in podcasts just because they're a little too, you know, <laughs> A little bit too, uh, you know, uh, explicit or whatever, you know, <laughs> not really for, you know, details that I don't want to share 
uh, too openly in public for now. So, as, as I keep saying, if I write this stuff, eventually, you know, I can fictionalize it and you go, oh, yeah, well, that didn't really happen, or I modified it, or whatever, you know, you can, uh, 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 but uh, there are some very interesting details, which, you know, I might as well get them down while I still, I've got the, I've got them all written anyway in, in, um, in, um, in journal entries. Hello everybody, I'm on the um, shuttle bus on the way to, uh, just about to leave for downtown. I want to have lunch and go to the um, uh, AGO and, and a good morning at home with the kids. Falls again fairly strong last night, but it's slightly better now. That's why I want to also go uh, have my lunch. And, and uh, the exciting thing here is we got a new bus. <laughs> Actually, I don't think it's a brand new, I don't, it is a brand new bus, but I think it's, we're test driving it. I think for a week, two weeks, I saw something about that. So anyway, bye for now. Hello everybody, I'm here at um, a Little India uh, restaurant in uh, downtown Toronto. Uh, <coughs> I took this shuttle bus and then I walked up here. And for a change from uh, Salakin, I haven't been here in about eight months. I used to come um, before the pandemic and then once or twice uh, during the pandemic when they had a patio seating out front. And I think the last time I came eight months ago, I posted a five-star review because it was very good. <laughs> it's the same server, and he, he remembers me. And um, I'm having the non-veg thali, which is, uh, uh, I opted for palak paneer, spinach and uh, uh, cheese, um, chicken tikka masala, rather than butter chicken. I'm not a huge butter chicken fan. So this is a tandoori chicken that they put into a, a, a sauce, you know. And then it comes with rice and um, naan, and dessert is a gulab jamun. And I asked for uh, green chilies, which they brought. I asked for salt and pepper, which they brought. Uh, the food is very good. It's a, it's, a, it's a nice change from the salad king. So I'm going to finish this and then head up to the uh, hotel way. It's a gorgeous day. Anyway, bye for now. I'm here in the, in the um, AGO. I'm in an exhibition, which is a series of sort of a slideshow montage of, uh, as part of the We Are Here. And there's a sort of the cats, there's a lot of images. There's an elephant. Oh, look, it's a cat. <laughs> um, it's called, and I was the only person in here, people, there's one uh, thing there seating. And uh, it's uh, by Jeffrey Farmer, and it's uh, called Look in my face, my name is, might have been, I'm also called no more, too late, farewell, 2013. Computer generated sequence of images and sounds is based on repository of files collected from various printed materials, including news, clippings, sounds captured from libraries, archives, uh, field recordings. It's really quite interesting, and it's long. It's been sitting there for like 15, 20 minutes, and you know, you kind of, you know, I almost napped. It's kind of hypnotic. Anyway, I'm going to look around a bit more and then uh, start heading back. This is the... Uh, no, sorry. This is not the I am here. I'm on the other floor now. I was on the I am here uh, floor, which is one up from this. This is the contemporary art collection. This is not the I am here. I probably have worked. <laughs> That's one of the I am here exhibits as well. Anyway, okay. Uh, bye for now. This one is upstairs in the, um, uh, this is called Panorama, and it's upstairs in the uh, I Am Here one. And it's got a music combined with some home videos over the years, and they've got little themes, you know. Um, so it's actually quite good. I was, I was sitting there for a while, but <laughs> then I, I, I moved around a bit. So I'm going to look around a bit more and then uh, start heading back. I'm going to get some takeout and maybe back. We'll see. Anyway, bye for now. Now, I'm in the faith and fortune not across the global space empire. Now, technically, I mean, she wanted to see my uh, my uh, membership thing, and I said I, I'm, I'm the annual pass holder rather than the full-fledged member. And uh, I found the thing and I showed it to her, and she said, technically, uh, I'm not really, uh, I'm allowed to see this with my annual membership, but not until, I think, Saturday. So this first week is supposed to be uh, full members only. 
But the person there said, it's okay, you're, you're heard. You'll be allowed to see it after Saturday anyway, and you are, you do have an annual pass. So just go in. And I'm like, okay, thank you. <laughs> I'll take a quick look today, and then I'll come next time when I come, and it'll be official, you know, after Saturday, annual pass holder. So all the people in here right now are the uh, actual members. I think they pay a lot more than I do. I pay like $35, $35 a year. They pay like hundreds of dollars a year. But anyway, you know, I'll take a quick look. Uh, bye for now. It was nice of you to let me in. Hello, everybody. I'm on my way back. I'm just walking through Chinatown. I'm just approaching um, Queen Street here. And I uh, did a little shopping. I bought another, uh, you know, wallet purse thing. This one doesn't have a cat picture on it. It's just black. So, uh, because the cat picture one is getting very, very faded. So, and it's, it's, it's kind of full now. So, I, um, which I also got a judge out. But anyway, I, I, and I bought some chopsticks, which I eat with at home. And I got some uh, hay noodle noodle soup uh, from Palais Saint Dundas, which my friend recommended because they're supposed to really have very spicy. And uh, the girl there goes, uh, you know, the fiery hot is very, very hot. So why did you try the uh, the spicy the first time? And I'm like, I could probably handle the fiery hot, but let's do the first time. Let's do the um, spicy. Uh, the regular, so that's uh, they call it regular spicy, but it's one under the super super spicy, fiery spicy. But they don't have any seafood or anything, and it's only you know it's just great noodles and soup. I look fine, you know. I might even add some shrimps at home. I've got some, so in the freezer. So I know, and that's for later because I had a big lunch, you know. Uh, so anyway, and, uh, and I got a little backpack I had kept with me, a sort of a foldable backpack which I had kept um, with me. So the soup is in there. I can feel it. <laughs> you know, it doesn't tip over or smell, sp uh, spill. So. I haven't walked through Chinatown in a while now, so I've got to be enjoying this. So anyway, okay, uh, bye for now. Uh, back to the uh, shuttle bus. As I was saying before, <laughs> you got to love bougies. We're test driving the, uh, test riding the uh, the new bus. And it's like, you know, it's like an airplane inside with the air conditioning vents and the, it's got TV screens. And it's really quite something. It's seat belts, you know? So, um... But um, so that, I don't think that's going to be ours. That's a demo. It's a demo coach. <laughs> All for like a 10, 15 minute trip. You know, you could go across the country in that thing. But anyway, so um, as I said, you got a lot of bougies. And I think we get to vote on which ones we like, you know. So that, you know, I've never really heard of demo buses before. But anyway, whatever. As I said, you got a lot of bougies. Anyway, bye for now. Bus right now, it's, they alternate between uh, the two buses. So, uh, I didn't get the demo, and it's very hot in here. The air conditioning isn't on, and we don't have those fancy individual units. Hello, everybody. Just got back a couple of minutes ago. One baby is here, one baby is there on the dining table, and Nagita is there on the ego chair. I let the babies out of um, very nicely settled, you know. I let the babies out of their room as soon as I got back, and I came back on that uh, on the on the old bus, not the, the the new demo bus, the very fancy one. I added some uh, mushrooms and some you know peppers, some my oh my uh, you know fresh peppers, and some uh, frozen shrimp uh, to the uh, noodle soup that I got today. It it comes in this thing, this uh, lettuce as well, which I'll put in just before I eat. So. Um, I got the the second spiciest level, and I just tasted it. Second level, second hottest, just still very hot, you know. And I've added some green chilies of my own too. So anyway, that's my supper. I'm just gonna let it simmer. Um, so and I'm gonna feed the kids their, um, you know, uh, their wet food, their canned uh, canned food, and then I will have my own, um, you know, uh, modified takeout while uh, watching uh, Netflix. Um, hello everybody, it's uh, morning. Well, actually, 1.30 p.m., so it's kind of morning for us. But <laughs> though we've been up for a while. So we've got Agitha there, we've got one uh, baby there, and we've got uh, the other baby is there. I looked everywhere, and he's <laughs> right under the chair. So we get one baby there, and we got the other baby there, and now Agitha is gone. That way, you know. Agitha is there. 
Now, um, uh, spent the morning at home with the kids, and the babies were on the bed with me in the morning, and then Agita came in the bed, and I, um, Paul was still strong, but it's okay, you know? Now, uh, I'm still, you know, I'm coping. Now, a little bit of, uh, uh, just got an email from our management saying there was some kind of disturbance next door, that, that other building, sort of our twin tower, even though that's the older building, but um, that uh, um, uh, it doesn't affect us, and uh, everyone there had been evacuated. That it is not a fire, you know. Uh, the way he said it, the, the way that you know the the the, the message said evacuated, but there's no danger to us. It, it sounds like there was some kind of said disturbance, but everybody's going back in. They're all out. That that uh, that the tennis court in that area of the. Uh, greens actually belong to them, you know. Um, so everybody was outside. Uh, they're all going back in, and all the cars had also been blocked. Hello, everybody. It's me. We got Agita there. We got one baby here, and we've got the other baby here. You know. It's a few hours later. I've been doing some writing. Paul has been there. It's, just, it's almost constantly there, but you know. Uh, so far, so good. Tomorrow is going to be eight weeks. It was actually, you know, it's sunny on this side, and it was raining on that side. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but, you know, um, but the rain stopped now. So anyway, um, the plan is tomorrow I do have to make a day trip because I have to um, cut the grass, and I have to uh, have the Porsche towed from the auto shop to the um, storage garage. So i got to do all of that. Um, it's eight weeks clear. Uh, and I'm hoping to be able to keep going, you know, you know, so um, tomorrow is actually, I think, eight weeks clear. You know? So for, as I said in an email to my friend, the first two weeks were really, really hard. And the last two weeks, after six weeks, it's been, it's been excruciating. It's been harder than the first two weeks. But anyway, you know, uh, hopefully tomorrow the day trip, uh, you know, distraction, keeping busy, enjoying the drive, all of that stuff will help. So from the four of us, so from the two babies, one baby there, uh, one baby there, uh, Agitha there, I'm, uh, bye for now, I'm going to try to edit and post this. So from the four of us, bye for now.